next, a matchup for the UFC heavyweight division title. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. Well, a lot of people think it's the most significant title in combat sports. No argument from me. Baddest man on the planet, UFC heavyweight champion. There he is in the flesh. What an absolute monster. What a title reign it has been. But a serious challenge in front of him here tonight. When this man became the heavyweight champion, a lot of people thought that this challenger was the one who would wrest the belt away. Now the fight is here. We'll see if we get a new champion or if this man continues one of the greatest heavyweight legacies the Octagon has ever seen. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Four years, the difference in age between these two fighters with the same height and a similar reach. Now for the official introductions, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out arena in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed USC Heavyweight Championship of the World. It's easy first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding professional record of 27 wins, 10 losses, and one draw. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Fontana, California, presenting the challenger, Bobby King Green. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 14 wins, 4 losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Busan, South Korea. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC heavyweight champion of the world, the Korean Superboy, Do Ho Choi. All right, this is for the UFC Championship. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, so back your corners, come out fighting. They touch gloves, and we are underway. Well, these guys have been on each other's radars for quite some time tonight. It shall be done. Both guys well-rounded. You think we're getting a kickboxing match tonight or what? You just don't know, right? You don't know who's going to be able to employ their strategies the way that they need to. This is a close fight on paper, and also in every performance we have seen them put on, these guys seem to be the mirror image of each other. Big clutch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one up? All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Left hand punch with the clinch. Just misses with the straight right. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. 
Big kick lands. Well, you know about the offense, but how about the defense? Overhand blocked by Green. Nice punch land over the top. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Back to the jab now, no good. Nice job moving off the center line. He slips to avoid that right hand. Left hand counter there. Stuff to take down, no problem. Nice body kick right under the elbow. Just out of the range with that right hand. Punch coming, it's blocked. Man, how good is his right hook counter? Oh, nice connection there with the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. And everything's landing with so much power. Swing and a miss by Green. Oh, tagged him with that right hand. What a strike that was. What a strike that he is landing over and over again. His opponent will need to make some adjustments. Back to the well with that right hand. It's no good. Oh, go. Big, powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Nice leg kick. He's able to slip the left. Got the single collar tie. Well, that'll quiet the storm. Shot blocked by Green. And both guys really throwing with authority. He's got it going now. Nice connection there, DC. Another punch land. Right punches there. Leg kick checked effectively there by Shore. Oh! Oh, oh! oh, he might be in trouble here after that big diving punch. Deal to spend this much time on the bottom, but you can't fault him for his activity. Landing strikes here from the bottom. Nice work by Green. Side control now. Oh, really nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here for Bob. Green's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Well, you gotta be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. All right, he continues to bully his opponent here, really manhandling him on the ground. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. All right, working on the ground here, his opponent's feet on the hips. All right, so he's sort of turtled up here. Not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. And he landed the right hand there. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Ten seconds to go. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. All right, so let us now check out some of the action in that round, DC. There was a whole lot of it, including a stunner upstairs that nearly closed the show. It was a lot of action. It was back and forth action, but the big moment was that big strike to the head that landed, that put him on wobbly legs, and then survival mode. Luckily, he made it to the end of that round. Let's go, fight. 
slips the left hand. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good to him. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. Oh, a huge block there. And able to avoid the punch there. Nice slip by Green. Single collar tie there. Nice punch there by Choi. He's hurt. He's hurt. Beautiful leg kick. Throw. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one in boxing class hands up, chin down. Swing and a miss with that punch by Green. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Choi's got the tie clinch. Let's see what he can do. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Oh, what a punch. Wow, that right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes him stop throwing Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. What a body kick. Green's lower jaw looking extremely swollen now. Oh, my goodness. Effective strike there by Choi. Oh, collar tie. Nice one, two there. They continue to exchange. Oh, he might be out. Hands higher, hands higher. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Straight punch land. Man, it's almost like he's got a range finder out there. Just too easy as he connects with another good series of punches there. If you're boxing this guy. Looked like it did stun a little bit. He needs to start Oh! Boxing. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Well, he's got his back now. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. Got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Now the guy's got armbar. He's attacking it on it. He's attacking armbar now. Oh! oh, Johnny picked him up and he slammed him, and he ends up in side control. Now he's in no danger of a submission. How about that? He's like, you go here. <laughs> My arm's free, and now he's got plenty of room to operate here on the side control. Nice and done. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here. Just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on the ground. Over and over, these guys are doing things that you see in every jiu-jitsu gym around the country. are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know when, when to fold him. Yep, absolutely. Go. Nowadays, you see guys just throwing little shots that don't really matter. Very few guys now are committed to ground and pound as they were in the past. Arch right, a good ground and pound by him here, certainly staying busy, and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off of you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective, to throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. And that's the end of round number two. 
All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. A stunner there with the head strike midway through. Nearly got him out of there for good. Almost got him out of there. He hurt him badly. He had his opponent hurt real bad. Now his opponent's walking back to his corner. Everybody looks confused. They don't know what they're supposed to do to try to change the way that this fight is going. just misses. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. That was a thudding leg kick. Just missed with the left there. about to start. Pretty good work with the strikes here off of his back by Green. Well, you gotta stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Nice punch. Strong bottom work here. Staying busy. Joy grounded pound from half guard now. Let's see if he can do some damage. Oh, and he's able to land a strike there from the bottom. Nicely done by Green. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's gonna stop this. He better start to move, and when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. Good series of strikes for him there, staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. That's a big strike right there. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to his throws. He throws his jab, he may blow the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's gotta be confident that it's going to land, and he's gotta really throw it. Wow! And just like that, the fight is over! shot to end the fight right there. It couldn't have landed much more flush than it did, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, quite frankly. So, near perfect execution on the strike that ultimately results in the KO here tonight. All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. A full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in this championship winning performance. He used his wrestling. He used his elbows. He used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliot has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 23 seconds of round number three. Playing the winner by knockout and still. See, you know what it's like to be the UFC heavyweight champion. It's not the easiest belt to defend, 